down and uh, those of you guys with 40 horses um, I'll show you what the problem was and it had was unrelated to the noise that we were all hearing because I knew the noise was in the top end and what the noise was is this push rod tube was bent back where I couldn't see it and uh, it was rubbing against the push rod you could see a, a rub mark on the push rod where it had been rubbing and that was causing the clacking noise in the top end now why did the motor blow the motor blew because of the 40 horse problem those of you guys with 40 horse engines remember I said this when I was talking about the oil change see this right here this had moved up to about this position and what that did is it uh, got air and, air and oil mixed together going in the suction and dried up the main bearings and therefore lost oil to the rods. That's why the motor went. So whenever you take your motor apart, you should always try and figure out what happened so that you can make sure it doesn't happen again. What I might do on this one is I'll probably, I can see that this bolt goes all the way through, threads all the way through, and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, probably fix this motor. It looks like the line board even looked really in pretty good shape. I'd say I probably can run this again. Same line board wasn't in bad shape, the motor wasn't. Uh, but the crankshaft just wiped out. So, uh, I don't know if I'll, I don't like these cam bearings like this, but they might be okay too. It'll create, it'll create a lot of speed, you know, maybe put some Lucas in there and keep it running that way. It's not like it's going to go a million miles an hour. Um, then I'm going to measure the barrels. Uh, I don't know if those are big bore barrels. I know they've been replaced. In fact, one of the pistons, but they look like Klobenschmidt pistons, so they're probably original. Um, so, but this is was the problem, is this right here. This is what I'm telling you guys about when you change your oil. And this lifts up, dries out your motor, wipes it out, happens all the time this was a big problem back in the early days of 40 horse engines so those of you guys running 40 horse um this the big thing to watch out for um is there a way to fix it while it's in the car not really um and i think what happened is this had been up in there i was real careful when i put this back into place trying to make sure that this lined up but it you know might have been a little bit of a different position and just slowly it just worked its way up because I noticed when I got the motor apart that this was up like this. So that does it. That just wipes it out. That will do it. Just a little bit of change there. Plus it was uh, pretty dirty inside. But that's not the reason it blew. Um, the muck in the bottom of the oil pan usually doesn't cause the motor to go out. Uh, it's the dryness. It lost oil pressure. So anyway... I'm going to try and just uh, do a simple rebuild on this thing. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I might end up putting the, they have a, a big bore kit for the 40 horse. Gives it a little more juice. Uh, I might end up doing that because it gives you a little more torque. Makes it run a little bit better, but I think I'm going to try and keep it original 40 horse in this car. Because it's got the gearing for it and everything. If I put a 1600 in it, it won't go any, anywhere anyway. I might as well. I'm gonna do that then I gotta do the trans too so anyway that's uh, the problem with the motor that was the conclusion